Alrighty, I am currently not streaming because it is time to get ourselves a Guthix staff. We need to do the Mage Arena mini quest and we have to cast Divine Storm 100 times. This is probably by far the most dangerous early game part of Hardcore Iron Man mode because the Guthix staff is sick and we're going to need it, you know, for a very, very long time throughout this series. But it is also extremely, extremely risky to go for because we are going to be in level 50 plus wilderness for a long time. In addition, to make things even spookier, if I pull up my progression path that we've been following, everybody who's been following this series knows that this is what's next. So we have left the clan chat, we've left our friends chat, I've had one friend of mine who's scouting the world. This is like peak midday hours, this is normally what I'm streaming, but we need the Gothic staff today because I want to take it to Dagonoth Kings. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I am so incredibly spooked, but uh, yeah, it's time. It's just time. Also, I do think it's kind of funny. I have a friend who can scout for me, also happens to be the person who was the first person to ever defeat Zuck. We have a large combat level difference, so you know, she can't actually attack me or anything. But yeah, hopefully this goes okay. Hopefully I've got enough runes. I don't have a lot of money, but I think I can buy nature runes at this shop. And then as soon as we get through here, yeah, we're gonna uh, hopefully have a Gothic staff. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Honestly, this is like, this is bad. Because there are, I believe, four or five phases to this and they get progressively harder. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, stun lock seems good. And yeah, this is the last set, which is actually a little spooky. Mage Prey, definitely very clutch for this one. That's the Clodian fight done, which is awesome. The part that's most spooky though is just having to cast Divine Storm a hundred times because we just have to sit in the wildy and auto cast it. But other really cool thing is we only have to do this once on the entire account. We're gonna buy a couple of Gothic staves, one that I can put in an EOF, one to just keep, and then we're gonna be good. Talk to you, Gothic staff, thank you very much. So now it's, uh, it's spooky time. Note here is this is dangerous. Be careful. So the play here is I just need to pray mage and I need to auto attack this a hundred times because it doesn't matter how many times, like how many kills we get or anything like that. It just needs to hit 100 times. So yeah, I mean, realistically, like if someone like approaching level 100 rolls up and is able to get on me, they're going to be able to two shot. I'm just not high enough level. So, you know, if that happens, that's GG. That's rip the hardcore. Yeah, I also know like this area of the wilderness is completely dead. I'm just a little spooked because people know I'm going for this. So I know for a fact that there are people who are looking for me. Not like a ton of people because, you know, most people would be like, OK, yeah, he's at that point. We're going to we're going to not do that. But every so often you get some people that are like, Yes, I want to be the one to do it. Yeah, we're going to hopefully not let them win today. We should be pretty close to 100 cast now, I think. I think maybe one or two or maybe three more of these, and then we should be all good. And then I'm going to run back. I'm going to buy maybe another Gothic staff, maybe a Zami staff as well. We'll do some Elking, just because, you know, I prefer to not have to make the trip back here. And then we should be all good to go. Okay, we're done. And... We are clear and we are out of here. Look at, look at, we're all chatted up. I don't really think I need to buy like 10 G staffs because there's no universe where I lose one, right? I think if I were to, if I were to lose one, that would mean that I lost a life and I am hopefully, you know, not going to be doing that. We, we're not going to plan for that anyway. Well, that was a really spooky thing. Good way to wake up. We now have a Gothic staff. I think it's time to uh, get a stream starter for the day. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day seven of the hard Poor Iron Man. If we want to later today, we can go to Dagonoth Kings, which, you know, might be ill-advised. It might be, but we can actually go to Dagonoth Kings and uh, try and get ourselves a dragon hatchet. Let's get out of this place and uh, yeah, let's get back to Birthorp. Just joined the stream and thought you were shirtless due to the color of your shirt. Dude, this happened yesterday too. I, I have a lot of tan shirts. That It's fair. It's totally fair. Okay, daily challenges turned in. Thank you so much for the fire making level. We take those. That's another thing that's very, very strong on an Iron Man. These weekly reward chests are absolutely nuts. You get a dart. I'm getting a box of clue scrolls next time or actually right now. Gift offering like it's just it's very, very, very strong. Big level 46 farming coming in. And I think we get 47 today too, because daily scape is totally not overpowered at all. No, I have changed shirts. That was a different shirt. Hold up. I am, I, we are, I am prove it. Hold up. Just, just to clarify. All right, real, real quick. This is very important. This was the shirt I was wearing yesterday. This stripes is the shirt I'm wearing today. You can't see the stripes, but it is a different shirt. Hey, you were 63 yesterday. I get to see all the little ones grow. I am tall. Teleport, 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 teleport. All right, chat, we are no longer welcome back in the Nemi forest. I don't have, it's cool down. 
You know what? I have an idea. Delete the blood. Caches? What caches? We'll do caches later. Okay, I am going to go on the record right now and say I think this is a really bad idea. Like a genuinely terrible, stupid idea. But we are about to be doing a number of the Mortania quests. And one of the things that would speed them up a good bit is to have access to the Barrows portal, which requires one kill count from Barrows. In order to get a kill count, we just checked and we need to defeat all six base brothers to a full Barrows run. Now, if you're wondering why that's a stupid idea, I don't even have melee protect. So we're gonna be very, very safe here, as safe as we possibly can be. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think this is the greatest idea a person has had, but we're gonna, uh, we're gonna try our best here to make this work. Where's this fix? Go. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Tarak down. This is such a spook. I'm not a fan of this. I am not a fan of this. Uh-oh, Ferex. Loop it around. Good. Oh, this is Carol. Okay. So Carol, to my knowledge, has like ridiculous deeps, but we are hitting. Actually, Super Magic Pot went off. Uh, did I ever keybind g staff spec? I did. It splashed. I'm, I'm splashing so much. Please. All right. Carol's down. Wild Magician. Good. Okay. Nothing's down. All right. Big. Okay. So all of the brothers have been killed except for Aram. Okay. I think... At the end of the day, I think an Aram Tunnel first, actually not bad. He is going to be a little difficult to hit, but should be a little less tanky than Carol, so we should be okay actually here. Get a little stun lock in, get a little splashing in, and that is a successful Barrow's Run complete, which means we are going to be able to use the Wars which he teleport to uh, speed up the quests. All right, watch us get something on the first chest in three, in two, in one. Can you imagine? I'm actually, I'm pretty good at some Blood Runes. We take those. A thousand coins. Wait, that's like... Plus 20% of my wealth right there. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Back to worse. Oh, it's free because it's my first one. Oh, that's nice. That's a huge buff. Oh, we only have one portal. Oh, that's funny. Well, we'll use the Reaper portal for Croesus, and then we've got a Barrow's one. Sweet. All right, let's go do this quest. Okay, 10 bronze hatchets. I think we're just going to make them because I don't have enough money to buy 10 bronze hatchets right now, which is very sad, by the way. Seven days into the account. I don't know how we got this broke, but... We definitely got this broke. How are you poor after having done so much Croesus? Because I don't get any contribution. Everyone who's like, Croesus is so OP, you're going to be rich. No, I'm not because I, I I don't really help. It's a it's a bit of a problem. Dude, I'm totally going to burn another ring of life here. I can just tell. I can just tell this is going to be a ring of life situation. Why do they hit so hard? Wait, he killed the dog. Wait, he didn't. He just straight up murked the dog. Okay, you guys can call PETA. Don't call PETA on me, though. This was not my doing. Call PETA on this stuck-up brat. I am going to run out of run energy, though. Just like hard mode Zuck, the hardest part of it is remembering to bring an energy potion. Wait, they gave him treasure hunter keys? And some self-respect. Dude, where's the quest where I can get some of that? There's a maid outfit reference in there somewhere. That is Carnelian Rising quest complete. 120 quest points. Level 39 thieving as well. We will absolutely take those. And now, if I loot this chest, I believe there are thieving lamps in it. What are we supposed to do with that? You're supposed to put the lamps in crafting. Was that because we need 40? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, the next quest we need 40. There we go, 40 crafting done. And now we can do family crest, Fremenic trials, and swang song, beautiful. That was the easiest quest point ever. I genuinely don't think there's an easier quest in the game. That took about a minute, and we have now started Dimension of Disaster. Alrighty, Ash is the first done. We are now level 54, and we are going to get back to the quest we were doing. Wait, we're putting the sobriety potion in a beer? Isn't that a little counterproductive? Does that work? Wait, Chaos Rings go for 42 each. We're rich. We're actually just rich. Oh, wish me luck. If we die during this quest, I am going to be so upset. This is not a safe death. Run away when he's prepared to be incinerated. All right, good luck, me. Here we go. Easy. I just need my slaughters to hit. Please hit. I'm so lucky. I'm actually so lucky. I, I genuinely don't think this would have gone. It, like, if I miss my slaughters, we're kind of doomed. Bro, I can't hit them. I can't hit them. Help! If I get another set of minions, this is actually going to be really close. Please hit my slaughter. We've actually hit every single slaughter. I am so lucky. That was like actually really bad. Alrighty, quest complete. Little magic lamp, little crafting lamp. That is level 41 crafting coming in and we are getting the heck out of here. So that's done and that's done. 
Now we have to complete the Varrock Museum quiz. All righty, 1,000 under XP, 1,000 Sarah XP. We will take level 27 Hunter. Also gives me all levels needed for the Eagle's Peak quest. That is level 28 Hunter, and we keep it going. That is level 30 Hunter, which means we now have three traps. That is level 31 Hunter. Yeah, this is, this is a good method. This is a good fast method and I'm glad we're doing it. That is cash the second to complete. And we are now level 55 in divination. This is such a good tune. I want this to play at my wedding. Not that there's an imminent wedding happening. I just, I just think it's a good tune, you know? Like opening ceremonies. That is 42 hunter, three more levels to go. Let's get it. Is there a high rec for the clan? Uh, there actually is, yeah. The clan has a really, really high, high rec. That's a good way to word it, actually. Yeah, that's exactly how I would word it. This song is actually... I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna end stream, and it's still gonna be looping in my brain. It's gone in through my ear, and it's gonna be with me for the rest of my life. My wedding, birth of my first child, my inevitable eventual death, just the whole time. Let's freaking go, dude! That is... Level 45 Hunter coming in. An absolutely monstrous level that we needed for the Penguin Quest, but also so that we can get ourselves the magical butterfly net that we need to actually contribute to Croesus. Can I just say, Coach and Squid are a match made in heaven. They are literally the same person. Oh, my face hurts. Why is Taverly Dungeon here? My immersion has just been absolutely ruined. This is unbelievable. Enter the door to the east or teleport out. Where does the door take you? Okay, the wiki doesn't say anything with the wildy. I know it used to though. <sighs> Thank heck. That is the Lost City quest complete. Let's go and 125 quest points as well, which is extremely important. So now we're gonna get our magical butterfly net from Pro Pro. We're gonna go to May. We're gonna get our 500,000 coins and then uh, it's gonna be Croesus time. And there we go. We now have a magical butterfly net, which uh, should help us a bunch. Alrighty, this is our first tier two magical dice. So what we're hoping for here is, well, it's 500k and ideally a fortunate as well. And we are going to get that beautiful half a million coins. Absolutely huge. Woo! That is level 53 Slayer. That is also going to be the end of my uh, my involvement in the Croesus situation for today. All right. Let's check our loot. 128k. Mortmire Fungus, Toad Flax, Magic Logs, Dwarf Weeds, Flakes. Yeah, honestly, very solid. And now we get to leave the Croesus music situation. Alrighty, it is time to do the Cold War quest. A quest I believe I've actually never done. Okay, this is pretty sick. This I am entirely on board with. Okay. Cold War quest complete. I am not gonna lie, I did not enjoy that quest. But I definitely will enjoy taking it off the list and knowing that I am not gonna have to do it ever again. So the next quest we've got on the chopping block, we've got Fremnic Trials, Monkey Madness, Hot of Mind, Darkness, Hallowvale, Troll Star, Troll Romance, Dragon Slayer. I think that means tomorrow we're probably set for Fremnic Trials, Monkey Madness, and Dragon Slayer, which is gonna be absolutely sick. That's gonna be a really fun day.